Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. We are going to take a look at how your person feels about you. I will also be pulling messages for the action they plan on taking, the outcome of the relationship, and advice. Remember that these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into it. And we are going to look at how your person feels, Scorpio. So Spirit, how does Scorpio person feel about them? Okay. I have empty handed. I have him. Let's get some more messages. How does Scorpio person feel? I have shadow work in her child. Let's get some more messages. I am missing you. And Spirit says one more. One more message for Scorpio. Reconciliation. Okay, Scorpio. So for some of you, this could this is someone that you are in separation from. I feel like this person is taking time for themselves to really do some inner work, some healing. Um Spirit say that they can't give you what you deserve. They know they can't give you what you deserve. Yeah, this person is just taking time to work on themselves. I feel like this person wants to reconcile. This person does miss you. But they know some things that they need to figure out first. Some things that they need to work on before they come back. Before they present you with an offer. So yeah, this person is just really doing some shadow work. Some healing. Working on past issues. Because with this empty handed, it's like they're not ready they're not ready for what you're ready for and in order for them to get ready they need to do the necessary work they need to do the shadow work so that they can heal whatever needs to be healed work on their issues work on their behavior patterns and finally be set free in order to invite love in in order to ensure that their heart is open to receive a union a connection that is stable something that is solid um i feel like this person may have had a lot of imbalance in their life particularly like in their childhood um they may have not had the best examples especially when it comes to men i heard like mistreat um they've seen men in their life like mistreat women um and this person just did not have too many positive influences when it comes to seeing how a healthy positive relationship works and so when they became an adult they took on that same energy that's why they couldn't give you what you truly desire and with this missing you i not only see this as this person's energy but i also see this more so as your energy scorpio you missing this person you wanting to be together but know that you can't because they're not ready to give you what you want and i feel like you're thinking about a reconciliation as well but it's like this is just you looking out wanting longing for this person but it's like this person right now is really focused on themselves and they're focused on doing the work that they need to do in order to change in order to grow so let's clarify some messages spirit tell me about empty-handed Okay. I have planning. So yeah, for some of you, this person is planning their return. I feel like with this empty handed, this person does not want to come back with nothing. They don't want to come back offering you the same gibberish that they were offering you before. They don't want to come back 
without anything solid and stable to give you. So it's like this person is really doing a lot of work. It's like they're planning their return, but at the same time, they're working on themselves so that they can finally have something to bring you. Let's get a message for him. I'm also getting for someone, um, there's someone who's planning like a proposal. I feel like with this empty handed, I heard ring. This person may be um, looking at engagement rings. Yeah, this person is um, planning on proposing. So congratulations for whoever that message is for. I have toxic and crazy. Yes, this person has some demons. Yes, this person is like in the devil energy. They need to work on some things. I heard control. They have control issues. Like I said, I'm getting like a vision of just men and their family not knowing how to treat the women. These men may have been abusive, you know, physically, emotionally, mentally. And I heard like scarred. And this has scarred this person. And this has tainted them when it comes to their relationships because they're carrying on the same energy. I heard generational curses. Yeah, this person is carrying those generational curses. But I heard break breaking broken i feel like this person is working on spirit says healing this per this person is working on breaking those generational curses because they don't want to continue that same pattern i'm also getting for someone that there's a woman there's like a female <laughs> who is obsessed with you there's a woman who is absolutely obsessed with you she may call you all the time like i'm just getting like this weird energy i'm getting like stalking there's a woman who is stalking you there's somebody who is literally crazy obsessed with you scorpio let's get a message for work and i'm getting strippers so you may have met this woman at a strip club you may be a stripper she may work at the strip club but it's like you met this person and <laughs> That chance encounter, she cannot get you off of her mind. She is literally obsessed with you. I heard like block my number. It's like you may be thinking about blocking this person. I heard like screws loose. Yeah, she don't have it all together mentally. Spirit, give me a message for shadow work. I have distracted. So yeah, this person hustle. For some of you, this person may be distracted by other men or women. They need to do the work, but like they're distracted by other men or women. They may be distracted um, due to their career, trying to make money, trying to hustle. It's like this person really needs to go into hermit energy and distance themselves from certain people just to take some alone time and heal and work on them. But there's a lot of distractions around them. I'm also getting like this person may have children. Um, I see about three to four children that this person may have. And so, you know, they have to be a parent. They have to worry about, you know, making ends meet, you know, earning money to survive. This person just have a lot of things on their plate. But they know that this work needs to be done. They feel it. They feel it within their soul, within their being. But it's just so many things going on around them that's hindering them from doing this work. Yes. And, you know, one thing about the devil, the enemy he sent to kill, steal, and destroy. So he would definitely place stumbling blocks in your way so that you don't do that work. Because he know where you're going to be if you do that work. He knows what doors, what opportunities are going to open up for you if you do that work. So his goal is to stop you from getting to that next level, from going higher, from raising your vibrations. And therefore, he throws distractions in the way, but it's up to us as people as the orchestrators of our own lives, as the magicians of our own lives to overcome those challenges, those roadblocks and still focus on doing that work. So your person is going to have to learn how to, you know, overcome those distractions. Yeah. And even looking at planning, they may have to um, become more organized when it comes to their daily routine. I have a break clarifying missing you. So yes, this is definitely for those of you who are in separation taking a break, missing each other, 
missing each other. But I just feel like this person has a lot going on, Scorpio. They have a lot going on. But there is some healing that needs to take place. And you desire to be with this person. But it's like they can't give you what you want. Not at this time. Let's get a message for reconciliation. I have quality time. I feel like there's going to be a need for you and this person just to spend time together. To take time for each other. I also heard time apart. For some of you, Spirit is saying that I heard self. You need to spend more time with yourself to heal. Reconciliation, reconciling back to you. Getting back to who you used to be, Scorpio. And not being so consumed with this person or with this relationship. But for some of you, I do see you coming back into union. You reconciling with this person. And it's like quality time. You and this person may take some type of trip. May go on vacation. Try to get off to a healthy start when it comes to rebuilding this connection. Let's look at this person's actions towards you. Spirit, what is going to be this person's actions towards Scorpio? I have the King of Swords. Let's get some more messages. I have the Nine of Wands. I have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And I have the Fool in the reverse. Okay. So for some of you, this is this ending is indefinite. Like this person is choosing to fully walk away. This person will not be returning to this relationship. They are going to move on. Um... I heard fear. This person may be scared of what you actually want when it comes to a relationship. They know they can't give that to you. They're not in a place where they can give that to you. So yeah, for some of you, this is going to be the ending of a connection. This person walking away or you walking away, Scorpio. Um, this may possibly be a divorce for those of you who are married. But yeah, I feel like with this King of Swords, it's like someone is getting ready to make a decision when it comes to this relationship and to cut someone out of their life completely. And it's like with this Nine of Wands, it's like I have to protect me. I have to protect my heart. I have to protect myself, my time, my energy. So yeah, this is you cutting someone off and choosing yourself. I'm also getting like with this King of Swords and this Nine of Wands, there may be a bit of animosity when it comes to this relationship ending. Let's clarify, Spirit. Let's clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, I have the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone that you have built a life with. This is someone that you have built a life with. Yes. You've been with this person for a very long time. And I heard like, how could you? For some of you, this person may be deciding to leave you to walk away. And it's like, there's a, I heard like bitter, like there's a lot of animosity that's there. A lot of bitterness that's there. Let's get a message for this nine of wands. I have the Seven of Pentacles. I heard like start over. You're going to be choosing to start over. And I heard like go at it alone. Yeah, you're going to be choosing to start over to rebuild your life. For some of you, I'm also getting like you may be going to court as well for a divorce. I heard like divorce settlement. Let's get a message for the Ten of Cups in the reverse.
Yeah, I have the King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. You're not moving forward when it comes to this relationship. And I have the Queen of Wands. So, yes, I have the King and Queen of Wands both in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like both of you are going to come to a mutual decision to no longer give to the situation. Both of you are mutually going to agree that this relationship, this marriage is over and you're both just going to go your separate ways. So no one is going to be willing to take a chance when it comes to this connection. Both of you are going to agree that it's over. A song just came to me. It ain't over till God says it's over. Spirit says you've done all that you can. For some of you, spirits, it's like spiritual advice. You may have even sought spiritual advice. You may have even tried counseling and it's like, it's still not working. So yeah, you and this person, I just want to choose to end things for good. So let's pull some. Let's look at the outcome, the overall outcome of the situation. Okay. Look at what I have. Put yourself first. Focus on yourself, security, healing, dreams, and goals. Again, starting over, someone is going to be choosing to focus on themselves. I have dating, getting to know someone, having fun. So yes, Scorpio, and then shadow work. So yeah, again, shadow work, healing, someone is really going to be working on themselves. I have shadow work twice. So yes, yeah, someone is definitely going to be focused on working on themselves, healing, Releasing anything that is toxic to their being, to their growth. Um, you are going to be dating. You're going to be open to dating other people. And just focusing on what makes you happy. Starting over. Starting anew in life. So that's going to be the outcome of the situation. You just finally doing what's best for you. You being open to new opportunities and love. And just focus on working on yourself and healing um, doing shadow work, releasing, purging anything that is negative and toxic. So let's get some final advice for you, Scorpio. Spirit, what advice do you have for Scorpio? What advice do you have for Scorpio? Okay. I have pay attention to his morals, what he values, and his spirituality. So yes, for those of you who are going to be opening back up to dating, make sure that you're paying attention to what this person really has to bring to the table. Like, don't just be so caught up on looks or even what this person brings financially. You know, look deeper. Does this person match you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? Really look at... Does this person vibe with you on the same wavelength? Do you really connect on a deeper level? Does this person bring more to the table than just finances and looks? The next message I have is switch it up for him. Show him another side of you. Okay. I heard like spontaneous. So for some of you, there's just a need for you to be spontaneous, to try something new, especially if you're getting back out there on the dating scene. I heard appearance. You may want to switch up your appearance. Just be open. You know, this is a new season, a new chapter in your life. So it's just really time for you to start making yourself the center focus, trying new things, and definitely making sure that whoever you allow into your energy, they're worth having. So let's pull one more message. And I'm also getting, for those of you who will be reconciling, yeah, I'm getting like bedroom energy. So yeah, have some fun, role play. Yeah, step outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, it's time for you to just, you know, drop your guard completely and just fully allow this person in. Be completely transparent this time because that's how this relationship is really going to work by both of you being completely transparent with each other, having fun with each other, enjoying each other's company, doing things that, you know, you would have never thought to do before. I heard like bucket lists, you know, you may have a bucket list, you know, try some things off of that. Yeah, just really spruce things up when it comes to this relationship. So the last message I have is Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Yep. 
regardless of what you go through, Scorpio, regardless of the difficulties, the challenges that you go through in this relationship, know that ultimately spirit has your back. God, spirit has the final say. So you don't have to worry about anything. You are being protected and you are being guided. So Scorpio, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.